Over the course of time, mutations and adaptations have altered the physical traits and appearance of pretty much all animals, but some have remained virtually the same for millions of years. We refer to them as living fossils. They are some of the most unique looking creatures and provide a glimpse of what life was like long before our own existence. The lamprey is a perfect example as it looks like something out of a nightmare. Instead of a jaw, it has an oral disc that works like a strong suction cup. It attaches itself to other fish or marine species with the help of over a hundred needle sharp teeth. Their tongue is just as sharp and will grind through the host's scales or skin and into their flesh. Earning their nickname the vampire fish, they feed on the blood and bodily fluids as their saliva works as an anticoagulant. Since they survive on other species and at the expense of their host, they are considered parasitic. Some have even evolved to feed on flesh, burrowing into the host body and sometimes invading their internal organs. I know you may be asking yourself, will a lamprey do the same thing to humans? Fortunately, it is highly unlikely unless they are starved. They have an excellent sense of smell and seem to prefer cold-blooded fish. With that being said, if you catch one and offer it a free meal, it probably won't resist. Not every species of lamprey practices these feeding habits. In fact, a few freshwater species do not feed at all once they reach adulthood, while others scrape algae off of rocks with their teeth. Fossil discoveries from 2006 indicate their lineage and parasitic nature go back further than 350 million years. The well-preserved fossil indicated very little change. Their oral disc used to be larger in proportion to their body and they were shorter in length. The presence of their oral disc with teeth suggests that their specialized feeding technique has remained the same. It proves to be one of the most important factors that have enabled them to survive four mass extinction events. The fossils have also shown a difference between juvenile lampreys from then and now. The ancient hatchlings looked like small adults, whereas our current juveniles hide in the sand, mud, or silt for three to six years as they undergo a period of metamorphosis and filter feeding on algae and microorganisms. The first thing that comes to my mind is this ability would seem useful during periods of drastic environmental change. It would be very interesting to see what factors have caused slight changes in some species of lamprey throughout time. Unfortunately, they are made of cartilage instead of bone, making their fossil record quite scarce despite how widespread they are. Around 39 different species inhabit mostly coastal and fresh waters in most temperate regions around the world. They're not usually found in tropical environments because their larvae cannot withstand high temperatures. All lamprey species migrate up freshwater streams to deposit their eggs fighting against the current by latching onto rocks along the way. Females can lay up to 100,000 eggs, and the male fertilizes them as they are released. Both of them die shortly after fertilizing the eggs. The ones that came from the ocean will eventually return, although some sea lampreys have made freshwater lakes their home. In the 1930s and 40s, the sea lamprey invaded the Great Lakes that border Canada and the United States and decimated the native fish population. It all started in the 1830s when it gained access to Lake Ontario with the construction of the Welland Canal. This trend would continue nearly a hundred years later. As more canals were built, the sea lamprey spread. Within 10 years of invading all of the Great Lakes, their population was out of control because like many invasive species, they had no natural predators. Like most marine life, their size is larger than their freshwater relatives. This makes the sea lamprey much more deadly to Great Lake fish species. The lake trout in these regions nearly went extinct, and the Great Lakes fishing industry went from a yearly 15 million pounds of fish to just 300,000 pounds of fish. Since then, population control has been introduced and has helped resolve the situation. While they may have a disturbing appearance, the lamprey is a fascinating creature. Hopefully, it will continue to haunt dreams for years to come and remain a living fossil. If you enjoyed this video, check out the other ones on our Living Fossil playlist. And please be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thank you all for watching.